something I'd say I don't like that much, but I mean, it's cool that we're able to be this loud in the library, honestly. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, feels kind of cathartic, honestly. <laughs> okay, so we're starting Stadium. Uh, I think that probably makes sense in this matchup, because Falco is probably Green Hill Zone, I see if we get rid of platforms. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I think this makes a lot of sense. Or, uh, yeah. Falco, huh? Oh. <laughs> That's not Falco. Never mind. That ain't this Falco. Is... Oh, you know what? Okay. Falco has a better matchup on Ices, but Wiggs has a worse, ma a worse matchup uh, uh, against, <laughs> against Falco Ices. Got it. So I think on paper this matchup is bad for Wario. Right, but it's just that Wiggs is more familiar with it this way? Yeah, and a little, like, Wario has probably a little more room for error, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. It might be one of those <coughs> um, matchups that's worse at the top level than it is at, like, the kind of mid yeah, uh -huh. level. Yep, I've heard I've heard about those comparisons before. They're interesting to uh, think about. Well, they are just kind of theory craft sometimes. Yeah, it's it's all kind of guesswork. But yeah, you know, considering I think Sosa has lost a fresh at least once or twice, which is like a pretty big upset. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say a lot of people would agree with this match being really bad for Mario. But, yeah, but you know that kind of depends on the fact that Icy are going to kill Mario off the grab. Yes. Uh huh. But I think, I don't know, I think in neutral it's going to be too bad for Wario. He has a really good spacing tool. Yes, uh-huh. I've, I've heard it be <laughs> I've heard it be compared to uh, like a puff back air almost. Yeah. yeah, it's not quite as long range, but yeah. it's, it's definitely stronger. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he can drift so much. So one thing about Wario is that he actually has less, like his terminal uh, horizontal velocity is lower than puffs but he can accelerate faster. Yeah. So he can kind of like weave in and out a little faster than Puff. Okay, yeah. Which is pretty cool. In the right circumstances, a little scary, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, so I think Mario wants to stay in the air for most of the matchup. And I see they're going to be staying on the ground as they always do. So mm -hmm. I think right. we're going to see this kind of situation play out a lot where Mario is trying to drift in the air and Ices are shielding on the ground. And they're yep. both kind of going to guess Mario's drift and what Ices are going to do. And that was a good combo. Yes, that was. I think Wario's one of those weights where uh, Ices have a pretty easy time getting grab combos on him. Mm -hmm. That one. Yeah, I thought for sure he was gonna take some hefty damage. But speaking oh, of hefty damage, yeah, oh, it's okay, the, yeah. It's like Which I mean, still racking up plenty of damage for what it's worth. Right. Yeah. I mean, come on. Okay. Yeah. That was close. Yeah, that was. That was oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sure. I think I think it's definitely worth blowing off there. Mm -hmm. to kill. Yeah, I, I'd like say I'd say so too. Yeah. If it was just Hannah, I'd say no, but. Yeah, I, 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 I think and we just gotta start offering options out of uh, way that's the way to have or way that's worth to have. And that oh okay. This is the up smash just by a little bit. Uh so we're holding on to a little bit of life here. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. That's another thing, is that Icy's gonna crouch cancel. Uh, all of Wario's area is down there. Yeah, uh huh. For a while. Yeah, and that's especially, that's especially good for them as they want him on the ground. Yeah, that move is. Wario's side B is not as safe as Alpha's side B. It's a matchup. There is Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. That was good. Yes, that was good. Yeah, it gets Pokemon gets and not mana, so it's perfect for ways. Of course, yeah. Oh, here's the grab. Okay. Yeah, it's called the blizzard, okay. but either yeah, SDI's away or just Yeah. <laughs> I feel like white is not that good in this matchup just because there's no. Yeah. That's the reason grabs aren't good against nice season general. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I think that means he was a little bit late on the new affair if he doesn't get the spike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine the same. 
Yeah. Not too much of a punish, though. Yeah. Okay, I can see how down air adds a little bit of layer to this because Warrior will bounce off of them. Yeah, uh, it's, it kind of resets that shield drift mix up that we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. well, I, honestly, I wouldn't be off mana right now. That but isn't a, it wouldn't be a bad trade. Like yeah. certainly if you can get Pokemon, that'd be better. But then, yeah, like really, the danger right now is that there's two right, two of them. It's just that like even a Poco down smash. So, yeah. I think saving it is actually a good idea now that I think about it. Uh, but as we say, mm -hmm. and this should be. Oh, oh he dropped there. Just a few of those crabs, smashes, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to call it either. Not very familiar with What'd you get over there? I'm not oh, all, I'm not all that familiar with PMI <laughs> in general, so. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, Nana's super far away. Yep. Yeah. And that might have been away. that might have been a good chance to just go get Nana out of there, but yeah. Oh, the one time the side B actually when it really matters. Oh, okay. Just because I Okay, so for counter picks, I think, uh, okay, bounce FD and then, yeah, gonna go Green Hill. Yeah, that makes sense. Green Hill is very similar to FD for ICs. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's worse because there's a platform, but it's better yeah. because there's not as much stage you have to cover with your throw combos before yeah, you get to uh -huh. spike them and kill them. Yeah. Right. And just in general, you can't, uh, you can't go to the platform and say, you know, Catch me if you can. Right. Not you not as often anyway. You can't stay up there forever because it's moving. It's swings so close to the ground. Right. And so yeah, that combination definitely doesn't help in this matchup anyway. For for Wario's case. Okay, well, got rid of. Oh, okay. Pretty Word? much. Uh, Question mark? I think so. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty. He didn't take any extra percentage. Uh huh. Between that, so. Yeah, I did. Technically, he didn't kill Homo with all the rough, but it uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, almost same effect. Alright, so Wario with the lead is a very happy Wario in this matchup because he doesn't have to approach. Um, which I think Wiggs is behind for pretty much all of the last games. Oh, yes. So uh -huh. I kind of imagine he'll be getting some extra percentage. And yes, extra percentage indeed because he's 52. Uh, right, he's yeah, 52 up. Now, wisely, uh, I see in general, wisely in particular, likes rolling to resync and resync. I yeah. Sees. So I think Wiggs is starting to... Right, yeah. What are other... Uh, other ways of doing it? There's... Um, spot dodge, I know. Yep, yep. Spot dodge is kind of a name. Oh, yep. <laughs> is it... Is Jab one? I don't know. I, that's where my ICs is now serious. Yeah. It starts to show. I'm not sure. I, I pretty much always see roll in spot dodge. Yeah. Which makes sense. Being that they want to be defensive in the first place. Right, right. Yeah, so there's the spot. Yep. Yeah, why is it you wave dashes out there? And there's a spike. Kills him for that down there. A little ill advised down smash there, but. Okay. And. Yeah. Um, Anna died somehow, so... Mm -hmm. So, good outcome either way. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say the Soko Wario matchup is actually not that good for Wario, relatively speaking, because he can get chain grabbed. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's that B again. Alright, uh, sitting at 31. Uh, That's a pretty good yeah. Although you can die at pretty much 50%. That is, that is true. <laughs> Super. 
<laughs> Just air dodge behind them. Yeah, I, I like these uh, drift away back airs by Wiggs. I just have to make a really hard commit to actually uh, punish that. Yeah. But if they're wrong, Wario can you know, down air or just drift the other way. So really, Wario, it's, it's kind of one of those things where like... And the waft again? Yeah. Uh, I was just about to say, he's got a full, he had a full one there and just... Yeah, and yeah, uses it to great effect. Um, I think the concept of expected value is really important to this matchup. <laughs> Where Wario, you know, if you take a probability of winning a neutral exchange and multiply it by, like, how much percentage you're expected to get off of that win, then uh, Wario should be winning most of the exchanges, but he'll only get, like, a back air for winning and, like, guessing right about what ICs are going to do on a shield. Right, whereas... But if ICs make the right guess, mm -hmm. they get this. Yeah. So even if they're not winning a neutral exchange, uh, when you multiply it by like the percentage or you know kind of the value of each of their wins, right? Uh -huh. um, they come out ahead. I think that's usually what determines uh, the winner of a given matchup. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Just uh, neutral exchanges, yeah. generally, yeah, and, and I mean, their reward. From it's, it. it's kind of a an obtuse way of saying like, yeah, of course you should be winning neutral and punishing hard. That's of course what winning matchups. But yeah, I think it's like. Pretty. This is a simple enough matchup and neutral that like I think it's pretty illustrative. Yep, he, nice and easy to break down. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. A lot of those handoffs are very frame tight. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, down there, there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, blows off there. Yeah, it was only a half swap. So mm -hmm. Yeah, it isn't. It isn't too pivotal to anything, but. Yeah, and I'll have it again in about fifty seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw this at me, I'm like, uh-oh, what does this entail? And, uh, playing slow like this definitely favors Wario. If he gets to charge him off, it's while he's, you know, looking for hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he's have a hard time playing aggressively. That was a neat little angle to come at there. Using that platform, uh, wave dash around and, uh, yeah. come back with a back air. Oh, oh, n yeah, oh, wow. That, mm -hmm. A little too aggressive on the uh, out of the gate and loses the partner for it. Yeah, one wave dash down smash. Uh, easier said than done against Wario. Yeah. Uh -huh. Almost caught him there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, there's the first time we've seen Chomp come into effect, and yeah, there you go. A mainly, yeah, a mainly SoFo stock there. Uh -huh. And uh, Wiggs was able to take good advantage of it. Perfect with throws during which you can move is really good against ICs. Like, I think of DK's cargo throw. Because normally you don't want to grab one of the ICs because the other one will hit you, but if you can just run away from them, you know, it's not so much of a threat. Yeah. Or, in this case, I guess Wario just kind of slides on his foot. <laughs> yeah, it kind of just spins away from him. But... See, I want to do that when I, uh, I, I want to do that when I chomp someone. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, okay, i probably try to roll away or back them or something. Yeah, Nana just oh. dies. Oh, yeah. okay. Nana just drifts off and... Just... and... Yeah, fourth bit. I think Popo is still kind of off stage, but I don't know. I feel like Nana shouldn't have done that normally. So now we have that's yeah. Wig's glue. So glue must have beat Zinger and mm -hmm. so this is a uh, loser semis. Motobug, what's up? 
I'm guessing Helix probably linked the stream in the Sonic Discord. <laughs> that sounds like a Helix thing to do. Yeah, I've seen a few like Sonic raids before in our streams. Oh sure. So uh, welcome to a new Minnesota local. For anyone not actually in Minnesota. Uh, so I'll give some no, stream for this. Oh, you did. All right, cool. <coughs> uh oh, we can't show this on stream. So I guess we'll get some background oh, okay. on each of these players. Uh, so they've both been in the scene for quite a while. Uh, Ostrich Blue especially. He's been in the scene for longer than I have, which means probably close to four years at this point. Okay, yeah. And Wink's, I don't know, maybe two and a half, three years, roughly. Yeah, yeah. I still, I still do yet. Okay, maybe in a little bit. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, so Ostrich Blue is, I think, fourth on 